doing the job and she is speaking up in this whole thing about Sutton's esophagus. I mean, we had a whole season about a fucking dog and Munchausen. So we've, we've been down this road before, so you can't really blame her. But I wonder if now the people disliking her so much and we're right on the cusp, that maybe could cost her her job. I was thinking more is Marcellus Wiley's accusations going to cost her the job. No. Um, you know, he has now been hit with a an alleged sexual assault case from back when he was at, I believe, Cornell, maybe, as an athlete. Don't quote me. But Columbia, like, wanna, Columbia. Columbia, big Ivy League. Darling, so, learn your New York Ivies, please. Um, so, anyhow, I... I actually thought it was more him, you know, because they do. We do seem to see less and less of him. I feel like he's been completely edited out um, this season because of what's happened. Um, so I just didn't know if that was. I actually, I think she's getting it. I think she's going to get a second or third season. I do. I t I think there's potential there. You do. I do. I like her in the mix, and I have a feeling that Kyle may need allies next season. Yeah. I think yeah. So. Now, look, at, she might come back. She definitely might come back. So she does annoy me. I don't think for any particular reason. I think Dr. Nicole is, she did great on Watch What Happens the other week when they asked her about, you know, she weighed in on this and she said that, you know, she's wrong. I mean, Dr. Nicole is an actual doctor and is an anesthesiologist and was like her analysis of the esophagus is wrong. And Anna Marie said, you know, why are you weighing in on this? You're clout chasing. And Dr. Nicole, I watch what happens because she was asked about it, said, you know, when you're clout chasing, isn't that like the definition of it? Like you are trying to attach yourself to someone bigger. So she's like, uh, you know, like if I was cloud chasing, you know, like if I was cloud chasing here, I would tell you how I know Kim Kardashian, not how I know Anna Marie Wiley, basically. And she basically was like, aren't you, it's not mean you're supposed to attach yourself to like someone bigger. Like I should attach myself to a bigger housewife. Like, I guess to her point, she should, she should name drop Teresia Judice. She should right. name drop Erica Jane. I kind of see what Dr. Nicole is saying here. So touche Anna Marie Wiley. So let's head down to the peach, uh, down to Atlanta. Do what, do what do you make of RHOA? You you brought it up five, four months, four months, four or five months. I mean, Candy Burris came out with a statement recently. She, nobody, she has not been offered any contract. They're not filming. Uh, I believe um, Kenya has said this as well. So what do you make? It doesn't seem like any of the old cast has been extended a contract that when, I when heard. Tam, no, when Tamara was doing press with Sheree, it came up and, and Tamara was like, they were in an interview together and Tamara was like, well, you don't have anything to worry about. I mean, Tamara is so, Tamara, stick to two T's. You know what I mean? Like, you're not a producer, okay? I'm the producer over here. Uh, Sheree does have something to worry about, actually. She's not very yeah. likely nor guaranteed to be back. So just because she's Sheree, that doesn't mean anything. Your friend Vicky, your ex-friend Vicky was kicked to the ass, ass to the curb. Um, someone's like, oh, well, Andy says, Andy says we're not rebooting it. Yeah, okay, we're listening to Andy fucking Cone. Andy also, Andy lies. I have news for everyone. Andy also says we're going to see Girls Trip with Caroline and uh, Brandy until someone asks a follow-up question. He's well, like- he doesn't lie, but he's very media trained. He initially yes, very said media yes. Trained. And then um, actually the TikToker, Jordy Cray, who asked that question is going to be on my podcast this week. Oh. And listen, he's he's a big Bravo con and millennial deep dive uh, TikToker. Anyway, he asked that question at BravoCon, and we were talking about this on my podcast. Andy cleverly kind of backtracked and said, well, I, I hope we're going to see the girls trip. I mean, right. Why wouldn't we? You know, very. Right. By so, then, like, what did Andy really say about the reboot? Did he say, well, our plan is not to reboot it? Was that what he said? Because that doesn't sound like it's not going to be rebooted. That's their plan. We have a lot of plans today, people. Oh, my God. I am riled up. Riled up. Okay, um, so look, we, we it, have it, no it, answers on RHOA. No, and it may not be rebooted. It may not be. But I personally, personally, me, 
think that it should be rebooted. That is my honest opinion. I don't think nor see how you can mix new and and old. And 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 we tried, didn't we try that with Leah and Ebony? And everyone screamed, and everyone's gonna say, well, that's not why. It was because Ebony wanted to talk about race. Well, it still doesn't work. I mean, we're going to have like three new girls in their late 30s going for Kenya. Kenya will destroy them with a blink of her eye. I still think Kenya and Candy are the two that are the most protected. I really do. But I I don't know what's going to happen in Atlanta. I, I really don't. Maybe we won't reboot it, but I will stand by. And I don't care what the ratings are. I don't care that they were okay. I think it was a horrible season. But the ratings weren't horrible compared to some of these other shows. That is actually correct. They weren't Beverly Hills ratings, but they weren't bad. I don't know. I mean, not bad yeah, is not bad. I mean, you have to look for the future. Not bad doesn't really do it. It's like, then what is the future? If we brought everyone back in Atlanta mm -hmm. for another season, what happens after that? We still have the same problem. Like, we're not going to get seven more seasons out of this. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like, let's deal with this now. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll... Oh, Mr. Yontef, now you have us all. That's a lot to think about. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm going to try to be nice. I'm going to try well, to be Well, nice. let's head up to RHOP, which also some to me is not having a great season. And there is a theory floating online and seems like she might be even saying it. You know, she is saying it on talk shows, but that Candace is being pushed out. And I do have a theory on this. Why um, does Candace feel she's being pushed out? What what has she said on the talk shows? Like, why does she feel this? Um, she feels like she is the only one actually presenting her true life. That everybody I else agree. is making stuff up or deflecting, and so um, they are icing her out. And my theory is, if that's correct, they're probably icing her out because she is a threat, right? Like if you've got, if they've all kind of decided we're going to do this show and we kind of just, you know, Giselle and Robin are great at like putting stuff on the Grand Dom, the Grand Dom, the Grand Dom is just the Grand Dom, I guess at this point, you know, she yeah. just has that air about her, but she, we're not, we're not going to learn anything new about she and Ray. Um, I, Surrey, Virginia seems very historic to her, but to most people, I don't know that they care. Um, you know, Miss Darby, I love my girl, Ashley Darby. I'm missing, believe it or not, I'm missing Michael Darby's drama a little bit, you know? So it's, do you think that the threat is that she, that Candace is too authentic and is therefore a threat that the women don't want to be all in authentic? And so they got to get rid of the person who's, and, and do you think that Candy could really, Candy Gal, our Candy Gal could be off next season? Yes, yes, 